Hello, I'm Big Rich and a couple of years ago I built a plastic bottle kayak. So this is a kayak made out of uh, thrown away uh, plastic drink bottles, uh, 1.5 litre coke bottles, 1.5 litre um, sprite bottles, uh, Mountain Dew, whatever I could get my hands on. So I uh, managed to collect a whole bunch of those and put together a plastic bottle kayak. In fact I made, I made three plastic bottle kayaks um, and they went pretty well. Uh, we live here in Upper Hutt which is in the Wellington region in New Zealand uh, and the, the main river that travels through this area is the Hutt River so the Hutt River is pretty handy to us so our plan was to take those kayaks down the Hutt River uh, starting up uh, in the Kaitoki area and finishing in Wellington Harbour that was a, uh, a trip of about maybe 30 kilometres or something like that I can't remember now, 30 or 40 kilometres and so that was the idea, you know, to have a bit of fun to take, to take something that was rubbish and make something useful out of it and then have some fun so I was going to do that with my son and my nephew and their friend. Uh, unfortunately the day that we had planned for that there was torrential rain, uh, there was uh, hurricane force winds overnight uh, and when we got up early in the morning to do our trip the river was flooded and it was far too dangerous so we had to cancel that and unfortunately haven't had enough time to reschedule that. So now after a couple of years um, I'm pretty keen to get that project going again. We want to try and make a few changes and a few improvements to the plastic bottle kayaks to make them more useful. The plastic bottle kayaks in their original form were uh, basically plastic bottle barges or surfboards or lie lows if you like. Um, so they were flat, you sit on top of them and I mean, they floated pretty well. They handled the rapids pretty well, they handled, they handled the surf pretty well. But uh, they weren't that manoeuvrable and I did find that when they reached tip to a certain angle, either through the rapids or on a wave, that I would just slide right off. So this time around I want to try and make a more of a traditional style kayak. So we, uh, more like a skin on frame kayak. So we're going to build a uh, plywood frame and we're going to cable tie the plastic bottles to that and uh, that's going to provide our buoyancy. Then I want to cover the entire uh, structure in black polythene and the reason for that is to reduce the amount of drag as they move through the water. So if you've seen the pictures that we have of them, um, they aren't very hydrodynamic, they, were not, they weren't bad but we can improve on that. Um, and also I want to try and make the cockpit area where I'm sitting, I want to try and make that waterproof or watertight so that I don't get a wet bottom uh, while we're traveling down the river um, and also it'll provide a little bit more buoyancy and so hopefully once we've we've built this new thing it'll be a lot more streamlined, uh, a lot more agile, uh, a lot quicker through the water but still uh, robust enough to travel down the Hutt River. So our plan now is to uh, construct this over several weeks and hopefully I'll be able to put out a new episode every week or maybe every two weeks to show you how we're going. Um, hopefully you'll be interested in what we're doing and maybe you'll be inspired to build your own. If you are interested, please remember to hit the like button or even subscribe to the channel if you want to get weekly updates of how the project goes. That's all for this week. Thank you very much.